Good morning, everybody. Cindy Utter here at Artsy Endeavors. And trust me, it is still morning because I am still working on my morning coffee. I don't know. Can you see? It says, today will be a very good day. So it's almost gone. Um, and it's a big, big cup. I like big cups of coffee. So anyways, uh, good morning. I wanted to show you um, something that I've got going. Uh, if you're... If you're a stamp lover, the way I am, I love stamps. There's just something about them. You can do so much with them, and they're so versatile. And I just, I'm, I'm a stamp addict. I'm here to admit it. So instead of taking out my binders every time I want to find a stamp, I decided I needed a way to figure out what I had. So I went and bought a couple of these Cansons. They were only 5 bucks a piece, um, the mixed media acrylic watercolor pen and pencil paper this is a uh, seven by ten inches okay I bought a couple of these books I brought them home I took them apart I took the front cover and the back cover and these are actually uh, stamped images that I received in a swap through Crazy Island family and I thought huh stamped images stamps very cool I didn't worry about the the spine being blue I really don't care my concern was, let me bring you down so you can see this. What I wanted to do is, I have all of my stamps uh, sorted in binders. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But what I wanted to do is, I wanted to sort my stamps in a way that I could go to this book and say, okay, I'm looking for blah. And I can find it. Alright? So, let me bring it back up just a little bit. All right, this is my first uh, section in the book. It's called minis. If you've watched my videos, you know I have this little box of minis. They're just little mini stamps, okay? If I see it on this page, I know it's in this box, all right? So here's my minis. What I have done is I have went through all of my stamps, and I have stamped everything and put it in this binder. And... As it gets bigger, I keep adding bigger rings. Eventually, I'm going to have to start a second one. Um, but what I have found, here's my borders and backgrounds. Okay, I started out with just borders. Here's all my borders. Okay. Uh, what I have found is it is so much easier to pull this out and say, oh, geez, I'm looking for a, a droppy border. Oh, here we go, right here. I know what binder it's in because I have all of my binders labeled as well. Okay, so here's my backgrounds. All right. Um, I've done it in a categories that make sense to me. They may not make sense to you. You may want something different, but this one is marks, swirls, travel, and time. Okay, these are my Inkadoo stamps. They're just, for me, they're just making marks. Okay, I have my marks, my swirls. I'm not quite sure how this fairy ended up in here. But that's okay. I know where it is. I know what binder it's in. Okay. I've left some blank so I can add in. I've put in some additional blank pages. Uh, my keys. Okay. This is all to do with postage. Anything that has to do with postage is here. Uh, my travel. Anything I think some type of a travel. Sewing. Here's another bicycle on my travel over here. I don't think you can see it. There it is. Okay, anything that I have to do with sewing. So if I'm looking for a certain, this is all babies. Um, this is kind of an array, but I know where they are. Let's see. Um, time. I did a bunch of clocks that I have here. Again, here's some marks. These really probably should have been in my mark making, but I know where they are. I know what binder they're in. I know how to find them. Again, I left some extra pages. Flowers, leaves, and trees. Okay. Let me tell you, this took a long time to do. It's not, it, it's a few day project, especially if you have, oh, I'm missing a tab on this one. Um, especially if you have a lot of stamps. Stars, hearts, houses, and frames. Is that what that said? Yep. Okay, here's my houses. Now see, this is luggage and houses, and these are all my frames. And like I said, I have these done in a book. This one's people. Anything that's got people with it is in here. 
And as a matter of fact, okay, I need to add uh, one more chair. Now what I do, and I do this be, just because um, if I don't, I won't keep up with it. Whenever I get new stamps in, I make myself leave them on my desk in my way until they get put in this book. Once they get put in this book, then I can put them in their binder. Okay, so she's in there. Now, she can go in her binder. All right. <clears throat> I'll show you the rest of this in a second. These are the binders. Um, what I found is my actual, actually my husband found a ton of these three D, uh, three ring D binders. When I say a D binder, basically what it means is this part is flat. Okay, so it looks like a D, upside down D. He found these binders, brought them home, and I basically just collaged the outside. Then I used black duct tape. This one is my people. Okay. I use regular baseball card sheets. Um, I will tell you, I had a pack that I bought at the dollar store. They were awful. So I actually ended up having to go to Staples and buy some that, that lasted. All right, that lasted. What a, wow, boy, my English is good this morning, isn't it? Okay, here's my Julia Nutting, I believe is her name, girls. Now they're still on their plastic, which is okay. I'm going to leave them in there. And where's my new one? Here she is. So she can go. Actually, I'm going to put her over here. Okay, these are just big pockets that seal. They zip on the end. Okay, so there's my girls. So I know if I'm looking for people, I can come to this, this um, binder. And here's all my people. Actually, I have more I need to put in here, so I'm going to keep that out. All right, um, back to this. Bring it back in again. Whoops, not too far. Um, again, I just I have broken it down to tabs that make sense to me. Animals. Anything to do with animals. Okay. Again, some extra pages. Words. This, I actually have two binders full of words. Everything from, oh, uh, you can tell I was into card making. Um, you name it. The Great Outdoors, From the Kitchen of, uh, Cheer Up. Um, you name it. And if you notice in here, like this page, <laughs> I actually was running out of ink. Uh, my, my ink pad was pretty much dying. But you know what? It's here, and I have a pretty good idea what these are. Happy birthday, celebrate, that kind of stuff. So at least I know they're in here, and I know where they are in my binder. And the way I have this set up is I try to set it up so that if I'm looking at the fourth page in my book here, I'm looking at the fourth page in that binder, in that coordinating binder. Um, this is actually binder number two, words. <clears throat> and I have more I have to add up here. Now this is one thing. I try to keep the, see these, the, the hinges of these? I like to keep them down below so they're not in the pages because they annoy me when they're in the pages. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna finish up this video here. Holidays, anything with holidays, Easter, uh, Christmas. I have some of my Christmas stamps in here. I don't have all of them because my Christmas stamps are actually in another section. So these are the ones I actually have out. So I need to finish that. Uh, Gina Aarons. We're all friends of Gina Aarons. This is her page. I'm waiting for another page to put in here, Gina. Um, three by eight. <clears throat> all of these previous stamps I have cut apart. Um, I've taken them out of there. You normally get a set of stamps like this, okay? I'd put this in travel. I'd put this in the um, animals. This would go in the words. This I would probably put in, I don't know. I'd figure it out. This would pretty much go in borders, okay? Now, I have a ton of these that I cut apart, and I thought, you know, I'm tired of cutting these apart. So I decided to do a 3x8 binder 
because that's the actual size of the sheets that I have. These are dilutions, I believe, from Dina Reveley, I believe. Um, and what I did is I just took the entire sheet as it was, I inked it, and I put it down, okay? Here's one, here's another. Now, I know that I don't have all my animals in with my animals where I should, but these are full, like I said, three by eights. And I pretty much have a good idea what I have in the three by eight sheets. So if I don't find an animal I'm looking for in my animal portion, I just come over here to my three by eights and I may possibly have it in here. See, here's some uh, frames or postage. Here's some birthday food. Um, but anyways, these are my three by eights. Okay, same thing, I, my inker was dying. All right, so I just wanted to show you um, how I organize my stamps, how I record my stamps, and what is wonderful about this is if I'm working on a project and I think, oh, you know, I'd like to have a really cool border, instead of pulling out all of my binders and flipping through the big sheets, I just pull this out, oh, I've got it here in this binder, and oh, I want to use this faucet. So I know what binder it's in. The binders are labeled the same in here as they are on the outside. <clears throat> as I showed you with this binder, this one is people. So I know when I go to my people section in here, I'm going to find it in this binder. So just a little uh, tip and trick. I hope, you, I hope it helps you. I'd love to see it if you create your own stamp. Uh, I call it my stamp catalog. Um, and I just I hope it helps you out. So if you like, please like below. Please leave me a comment. I will respond to all comments. Uh, please share. And don't forget, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you later. Bye.